last one. team doing this for strategy because Joel is weaker than Damien. It was definitely a surprise to the other team uh, that we voted Damien off, but it's a game and we're playing it. Just wanna scream! I mean, God! What would be the best for our team? And honestly, what would be the worst for theirs? They could have so easily told us that they were gonna vote Damien out. And instead, they let every single one of Joelle's teammates write her name down. So now she is sitting in that house feeling like all of her team is probably against her. I was certain I was out of here. It wanted me out very badly, and I understood that. Joelle. Oh, Joelle. 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 We're sorry, guys. Felipe, especially to you, man. We know how much Damien meant to you guys. Are you serious? Why would they come and ask us who the hell we were going to vote for? And we want to know what you guys want us to do. As for our team of who would be able to be here and push us a lot harder, we decided to pick Damien to stay and the votes well to go home. All right. And then turn around and smack us in the face like that. I voted for Damien. For Damien. For Damien. Damien. You come in here and ask us and totally disrespect us and expect Sarah's gonna be okay? How did that work out, Mike? How does that work out? I don't believe, you know what? Let's play the game. Let's play the damn freaking game. We're gonna have to get stronger and we're gonna have to do this to beat the other team now because they're strong and they're getting stronger by the day. So now we have to get stronger by the day. We have to take back immunity. We have to take back our team. I have so much fire inside me right now. It's Let it loose in the gym oh, yeah, then, oh, yeah. and prove it at next way in all of us. Now you're playing with fire. Aubrey right now is at home. Here's my wife working out while watching The Biggest Loser. I hope she knows to at least get in a few hours of exercise every day. I don't know. You want, do you want one? No. Okay, let's go in the bathroom and get you one. I know that Aubrey being home with all her kids and stuff, she might not have as much time to work out as she planned on. I'm a little nervous Mama. about that. Mama. I'm not so sure, and I don't know, like, Mama, if I'm going to gain weight or lose weight or whatever, but we'll see. What's wrong with her? So I'm hoping that she takes the time in the mornings to go for walks and that she takes the time to go to the gym. And, um... Stop it for a second. I can only imagine what Laura's been doing in downtown South Beach, Miami. I'm sure she's playing like beach volleyball and like doing a ton of spinning and working out. I predict that Shona is at home working hard. My 
my excuse before the ranch was, oh, I don't have time. But it's a lie. How was I able to get three or four hours of TV in if I didn't have time? There's time, you just gotta make it. Dave has been, I have no idea. He's probably been taking advantage of some of the uh, conveniences of being at home. He is up to the challenge of, of showing America that it's possible to lose the same amount of weight we're losing here at home. I did not think I was going to see you today. Nor I. Wow. Joel is obviously the weakest one on our team. And I'm going to do my best to, to try to not let that distraction get in my way. I welcome the opportunity. I welcome working with you. I welcome pushing. Great. And, and representing. Great. Let's all kick ass through this next weigh-in. You're bringing Carla back in this house this week. Yes, I am. You are bringing Sione back in this house this week. It's not just about you, Kristen. It's about Kathy, too. It is not just about you. It is about Shannon. And you know it is going to be a tough week. You can handle anything. I always try to build a team environment. Unfortunately, this house, at times, that doesn't work for a lot of people. Joelle has always been the weak link. Right. You know, she's always been, not as been as strong and has always taken so much attention, like focus. Every, Joelle, Joelle, Joelle. You want to be supportive, but don't let anything or anyone get in the mm -hmm. way of your mission. If Joelle is going to be distracting the rest of my team from doing the work that they need to do, they need to remember who their real teammate is. It's like this, okay, she's here, so let's Help let's, her. Let's help her. Uh, right. But don't, don't, don't not help yourself right now. Mm -hmm. And I need to let this go because yeah. I'm down. Let I'm it. like, just, it's, e everything is eating me up right Kristen, now. I'm just like, oh. Let it go. Let it go. I really believe that she has something not only to prove to herself, but she's going to have to prove to her teammates that she really wants to be here. Five, four, three, two, one, go. One minute. Run forward. Uh. Push. 10, 9. Joel, excellent. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press stop. Go to your station. <laughs> it is my mission to help Joel. What is it? Because I've got six other people here that want to be here that keep pushing outside of the box. I'm pushing. No, you're not. So good. I mean it. Yes, you do. I mean it. Yes, you do. You don't let anybody get in your way. You do what you got to do. I'm seeing something in you that I've been waiting for. It's and here. you're doing it. You are doing it. I expect it. Perfect. I deliver it. Perfect job. Coming up, Super Bowl week kicks off on the Biggest Loser Ranch with celebrity chef Curtis Stone and NFL MVP Kurt Warner. <laughs> Right. And with only one week left to bring their partners back, Carlos coming back. The contestants push themselves like never before. Hey everyone, hey. over here. We see Ellis in there. I see the barbecue grills. I see the NFL logos. And obviously, I'm like, all right, we're going to have a barbecue. It's a tailgate party. Tailgate party? That's like great food, barbecue, all the stuff that I probably can't eat. What are we doing here? All right, as you can see, it's Super Bowl week on The Biggest Loser. Yeah! <laughs> but before we kick things off, I understand that someone else has a big surprise waiting for them at home. Blaine? My wife's having a baby. Aww. Well, I know that 
you wouldn't want anything more than to be with her during this special time. And I'm sure that's exactly what she would want to. So we have arranged for you to go home to be with your wife. My wife and kids, they're everything to me. So now I get to go see the birth of uh, my fourth child. What that means, however, is that you are missing today's event, the challenge this week, and we're going to make sure that you are back in time for the weigh-in, and your weigh-in will count. You're ready to take on that challenge. Yeah, of course. Have a safe trip. Good we'll see you in a couple Blaine. days. Blaine. Good luck, Blaine. We all wish him well, but it's Super Bowl week. For most people, that means one thing, football party time. So we brought someone special to help you with our Super Bowl tailgating party, and that is celebrity chef Curtis Stone. How could you not like a chef, Australian, who's just gorgeous? First off, I want to say you guys are a serious inspiration to people all over the country, including me. So what I want to do is show you something to do with food. I've always loved being healthy and fit and, and cooking great nutritional food that you guys are going to love, so. Curtis has agreed to help us out with a little game first. Oh, hi. I'm going to test your knowledge about some of your favorite Super Bowl snacks. Oh, this is going to be so The top three players from the first half will advance to the second half, where Curtis will show you how to make a healthier version of those snacks. And then he's gonna give you a chance to win an incredible prize. Curtis will visit your partner at home. Wow. That. And show them how to cook healthy meals. But also a two pound pass Ooh. for your teammate to use when they come back on campus. Oh. <laughs> Underneath this tray is a classic Super Bowl snack. I will lift it up, and you will write down how many calories you think is in this item. The person who gets the closest without going over oh. will be the winner. Are you ready? Yes. Chicken wings? Chicken wings with a side of ranch dressing. I was completely oblivious to what I was putting in my mouth when I was back at home. Have I had chicken wings before at home? Of course. Could I tell you what the calories were in them? No way. It is time to write down your answers. Will you reveal your answers? The answer is... 991. Oh, oh my God. God! 991 calories, which makes Dan yeah, our winner. Man. You are officially on to the next round. Our next Super Bowl snack, bread bowl with chili and sour cream. Reveal your answer. One. I'm hoping everybody goes over. I have no idea what the calorie count is at. So I decided to play a little game of, like, Price is Right, and I hoped everyone was going to go over. Curtis, can you tell us how many calories are in a bread bowl with chili and sour cream? 1,165. Oh. oh! Which means Kristen is our closest <laughs> guest. Nice job! Woo! All right, we have one more Super Bowl snack to share with you. How many calories are in? Seven layer dip. This is your last chance. Reveal your answers. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen oh one. Curtis, who is going to be the third person to join you in an attempt to learn how to make these meals a little bit healthier? It's a big bowl of seven layer dip and the calorie count was 1,755. Which means Helen is our winner. <laughs> Congratulations. Anyone who didn't win leaves, and it's Dan, myself, and Helen, and we're standing there, and we're going to cook with Curtis Stone. Curtis has a lot to teach you. There will be a test at the end to determine who is the winner, so I suggest you 
pay close attention. This is exactly the same flavours and the same sort of feelings that you get from that type of food, but it's super good for you. So do you want to see how to make the uh, chicken wings super healthy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's oh, yeah. do it. Now, the problem with wings is that they have a lot of fat on them, there's a lot of skin on them, and they're not particularly good for you. But the light meat, which we've got right here, which is just cubes of the breast, is super good for you. I'm going to stick a little bit of mustard, right, so maybe a tablespoon, a little bit of honey, there we go. Everybody grab a stick of rosemary. What I want you to do is just push down, so start about halfway up, and push all those needles straight off the stem. What we're left with is Mother Nature's skewer. Oh. OK. So what we're going to do is skewer that, on, skewer the chicken onto the rosemary, and then all that flavour, when it cooks, is going to come out into the chicken, straight through the chicken, like that. So what I'm going to do is just take them straight off the grill when they're ready, and I'm just going to pour some of this glaze straight over the top, OK? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that looks awesome. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's beautiful. So don't stand back. Pick one up, have a taste. Mm. The flavour of this is unbelievable. Do you think they taste as good as the wings? I think they taste better than the wings. Mm -hmm. You get better meat. You know, the flavor is just as amazing. It's healthier. I don't want to really eat good. wings anymore. Good girl. Mm, Isn't it? No way. Cool. How's it going? Hey. hey. Wow, this is so beautiful. Is that good? Wow. So, I mean, it's got to be a bit better than a buffalo wing, right? That is delicious. <laughs> it's perfect. Well, I have to admit, I came in at the end. I didn't get to see how they were made. But I want to know how many calories are in those chicken skewers. <laughs> I am going to have you guess how many calories are in one serving. And that is exactly five pieces of chicken on a rosemary stick. And whoever gets the closest without going over wins. We're going to start with you, Kristen. Um, my guess is 390 calories. How Mine is 175. And Dan, what is your guess? I'm right in the middle. Dan guesses 220 calories. Curtis, we're all dying to know what the outcome is. Tell us how many calories are in those rosemary chicken skewers. When grilling chicken, to lock in the flavour, reduce the fat and to cook it quickly, what you need to do is take the chicken breast and then pound it between two pieces of plastic wrap. What happens is this thin little chicken breast will now cook in minutes and taste delicious. So in minutes you've cooked a healthy, tasty chicken dish. Look at that. Delicious. And it's going to taste fantastic. Curtis, we're all dying to know what the outcome is. Tell us how many calories are in those rosemary chicken skewers. 230. So, Dan, I'm coming to visit you. Cool, man. 230. Well, Very I'm cool. Not. Wow. Thank you. So, congratulations are in order to Dan. Thank you were 10 calories off the right answer. So, you won a great advantage for your teammate, including this two pound pass. Catch. Thank you. Curtis, you are off to North Carolina. That's so awesome. I have to take this with me to North Carolina? You sure do. And you definitely can. Now that I've got this two-pound pass to David, it's even more of a, of a motivation to really bring him back and to do everything that I can to bring him back. Stein. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. Nice to meet you. So there was a knock at my door, and I opened it up, and I see this tall guy with pointy hair standing there. I'm a chef. I've just been up at the Biggest Loser Ranch. No way. Yeah, and we were just there with Dan and all the other guys. We had a little challenge. And okay. guess who won? Uh, Danny. Yeah. Nice. Your hands. <laughs> nice. So we're going to spend the day together. No way. And we're going to be cooking it up. Awesome, man. Isn't that good awesome? Good to meet you. But what he also won 
a two pound pass. Oh man, no way! <laughs> so as long as Danny keeps himself up at the ranch, right. your next way in, you've got a two pound giveaway. Oh, that is awesome, man. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Thank you. Holy Congratulations, great. buddy. So this is where all the action happens. Uh, not for me really, but sure, I guess so. So you never really cook at all? I never have. You're um, sticking to the diet, right? I'm well, not exactly. I have been to my favorite restaurant like three times since I've been home. It's fried everything, greasy, Oh no, everything. that's bad news. He's struggling with what everybody struggles with, the temptation of spicy, deep-fried fast foods. They're cheap, they're, they're everywhere, and let's face it, they can taste good. He doesn't feel like he can cook, and that's a big problem because he just gets lured back into eating that junk food. Let me take you somewhere that the groceries are really affordable, they're really good quality, and we can do some shopping, get some great quality stuff. Fruits, vegetables, some meat, and I'll teach you how to cook it. Sounds good, man. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Let's go. Look at this store. <laughs> now, this is the section you want to play in, the produce section. Let's get some cilantro. Have you had this before? Ah, uh, no. No. Right, I don't believe yeah. so. Let's grab a leaf. There you go. All right. Another taste. Just eat it. Straight in. Do you recognize that flavor? Yeah, I have. I've had You've that. You've eaten it in Mexican food. Yeah, like salsa. Yeah. So there's a bunch of flavors in this produce section okay. that you think you haven't seen, but you've tasted them all before. And this is how you should be getting them nice and natural and fresh and green. OK. Right. I learned that there's stuff here in the produce section that I don't think I've ever been in that I've actually already eaten and I really like. So I'm excited to find out what else is out there that I've already eaten and I might like. Dave responds to flavors that are really intense. So if you think about what fast food places do, they cover stuff in salt, they cover stuff in spicy seasoning. So I'm going to try and keep those intensities without too much salt, without too much fat, and give him something that he's going to love. Mate, we're going we're to recreate that fast food flavor, but it's going to taste much better and be so much better for you. We're going to have fun today in the kitchen. I'm ready. Now. I got you this, and this cool. is going to save your life. So let's start. Coriander, all right? Put in some of the cayenne pepper. I got Dave to get all these different sorts of spices, which I already knew that he liked, and then we covered it in spice. We then put it onto the grill, nice and hot, just a couple of minutes on each side, and there you go. Dave's just cooked his first ever meal. And then flip it right over. Yay, beautiful. So slide right underneath. Bring it over and sit it right there at the front of the front of the plate. Beautiful. That's everything flavor-wise that you'd normally get. A little bit of cilantro on top. All the flavors that you that you love from the, um, the junk food. That is super good for you. That is awesome. Well, I could eat the whole thing. Well, go on. Don't stand back, mate. You've earned it. You've been cooking all day. It's really good for you. You know, I can see that for the price of a buffet. I can actually spend the same amount of money and get more food. So I see now that eating healthy isn't necessarily the hardest thing to do, and I can do it. It's easy, right? Yeah. Nice and simple. You can make up that spice mix. And whenever you're ready, you just flatten out another chicken breast. Over it goes, and yeah. kaboshka. Awesome. <laughs> Right there. Mike. Come here. Joel. Right there. It's week four, and I pull out the plyo boxes for them to jump on. And it's going to be a time for unity. This is high. This how, is high. How, how high do you think this is? That's high. Is it higher than 12 inches? Yeah. Where do you come up with this stuff? You want me to do what? Like, do you realize, like, how big I am? Don't think. Good job, Kristen. <laughs> I know. I expected it. I did. I expected it. Kristen, who started off over 350 pounds, jumped up on that platform. It was madness. Joelle, you lead us out, OK? As soon as she gets up, go. Go. We are a close team, and when Bob, like, works us out like that, it just builds our support system and makes us stronger. First job. I 
flew here to, uh, to see my wife Jenny, surprise my wife Jenny uh, for the birth of our fourth child. We didn't think I'd be able to be here for this, so this is really special. Hey, babe. Hi, <laughs> honey. Surprise. Hi. I'm feeling so happy, I mean, to, to be able to see her and for her to see me. All right. Some good changes there, buddy. Yeah? This kind of reminds me why I'm there. Be around for this baby's baby. That's right. It really hits home why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. I think it'll motivate me for the future. I'm, I'm excited to uh, to become even more healthy than I already am. Hey. A little nervous. I'll be better when the baby's born. The wife's fine, and everything's great. So. The boy. And he's mad. You know, I used to have four reasons, uh, very big reasons to be healthy. Now I have five. And that's uh, only going to make me do even better, push even harder, and, and try to be even stronger. Look at that. Oh. Come meet your brother. His name is Brecken. Do you like it? Say hi. Go say hi. Our family is so much bigger. One more person. It's exciting to me to know that my son Brecken will never know an overweight, lazy, uh, unhealthy father. I won't be gone too long, OK? But daddy's got to go work some. He's got to go work some more, OK? But hey, I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. I'm going back to the ranch because I, I got to finish what I started. Um, I love my wife, I love my kids, but I'm doing it for them. And I hope they understand. One day, hopefully, they will. You do really good. We're proud of you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Walking up to our challenge and seeing the football field and the NFL signs, I was just like, oh my gosh, what is in store for us tonight? I absolutely love challenges. I want to win three times in a row. I think it'll be awesome, and I'm pumped for this. This is game time. Welcome to your Super Bowl week challenge. Woo! Now, before we get started tonight, I have a little surprise for you. Uh-oh. Mm. Please say hello to NFL quarterback Kurt Warner. Woo! How we doing? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, yeah? All right. Looking good. Uh, yeah. Here's Kurt Warner. Like, yeah. 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 All right. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Good. You guys ready for some football? Yeah. All right. Well, no one knows more about football than this man. He is a two-time MVP of the NFL. Plus, he was also MVP of Super Bowl 34. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I am so excited to be here. Excited to hear about what you guys are doing. Excited that you're all wearing number 13. <laughs> but I mean, it reminds me so much of the early part of my career, when I was fighting my way through arena football, uh, trying to get into the NFL, and had all the naysayers saying, there's no way Kurt Warner can never play in the NFL. When I finally got there, I was able to, to win MVPs, to win a Super Bowl, as we mentioned, and I think to show a lot of people that anything is possible when you have a little bit of commitment, a little determination, and a lot of faith. So I'm excited to be here tonight. One more challenge to get us one step closer to the people that we want to be. 
Her Warner story really spoke to me. It really touched me. And this challenge is another opportunity to prove my life's on. And not only that, I'm showing it now. I'm bringing it. Tonight, you are playing for immunity. Oh. This week, you are competing without your partners for the last time. So if you win immunity tonight, you are guaranteeing your teammate a spot back on campus. I mean, we are one way in away from bringing our partners back. And I want nothing more than to bring my mom back to the Biggest Loser Ranch. And immunity is the only way to guarantee that. All right, let's get to the rules of the game. On my go, you will run from this starting line to that first line, the 20-yard line. You come back. Touch this line again, and you're out again to the next line, the 40-yard line. Grab a football, come back here, and you have to put it in someone else's bin. If you get five footballs in your bin, you are out. Last person standing wins. Everyone, immunity is at stake. On your mark, get set. Go! All right, go! Here we go, out of way! All right. Looking good. Tara, the Come first on, one back. You got it, Dan, you got it. Mike, you got Felipe, it. Dane, All remembering right. their football days. Everybody's rolling. See the ladies down Tara's there? Tara's got the first go, football. She's on her way back. All right, Tara. Where she put it in? I looked over at Mandy and I said, OK, what do we do? And she said Felipe, and I said, OK. <laughs> and we just started going for Felipe. Oh, right oh, in Felipe's Felipe. bin. And Mandy's All right, keep Felipe on going. Too. Helen puts her football in Tara's bin. Two balls in Dane's. Keep on going, that away. You got it, Dan. You got it, Dan. There is a plan in store here. You got it. Keep on going. There are three balls in Tara's bin. Dan All is right, on the way back. All right, come on, Joel. You got it. Keep going. Dan, more going, footballs in Felipe's bin. All right, good job, Tara. She finishes Felipe oh, off. Felipe, nice. you are at this game. Helen puts her football in Tara's bin. That is Tara's fourth football. As soon as the race started, well, we started telling each other, let's get the strong ones out. Get green and black out first. Knocked out, but the best part about the whole experience is that I didn't get knocked out first. So making it to the top, you know, five or six, which felt really good. Three footballs in Mike, three footballs in Joel, two footballs in Allen. He evens it up. So it's down to three people, all Bob's team. I want to win. I want immunity. I just want to beat these two girls. So I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to win. Take it, Mike. Breathe. You got this. There you go. There you go. Go Allen. One more ball, and Mike is out of this game. There you go, Mike. Come on, move in. You got to run, buddy. What this thing. Good hustle, Mikey. Good hustle. Got to got to pick. You have to pick. Pink. Pink. Go. Come on, Mom. Four footballs. 
Angels in Helen's bin wherever Joelle goes. She will be taking someone out of this game. Go, Helen. Helen. And Mike is out of this go, game. Helen is out of bin. Let's go. go. It's an even go, foot go, race. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. I'm even with her. It was, it was like a moment of amazement. Way to go. I've got to run this. I have got to take this. There are four footballs in Helen's bin and four footballs in Joelle's bin. It is a foot race to the finish. Come on, you got this. Push it. Helen, you're behind. Come on, Joelle. Go. Get up. Come on, Helen. Let's go. Run. Come on. I'm gonna be here. I want this. I'm gonna be here. Come on, Joelle. Go. Come on, Helen. Run. Come on. Helen, you have won immunity. Yes. Way to go, Helen. Yes. I won immunity. It was great. I would have cried. It was. It was awesome. You have guaranteed yourself another week on campus, and you have guaranteed oh yourself winning, coming back to compete with you next week. How does that feel? It feels so good. It feels so good. Way to go. Thank Way to you. represent today. Thank you. I'm 48 years old, and I won a football challenge. What are the chances of that happening to me, you know? But I did it. The yeah. Yeah. Shannon? Hi, Mom. Hi, it's Mom. How are you? Good. What are you doing? I won the challenge. And you did? You, yes. And the grand prize was immunity. And this was the most important week out of every week that we've been here to win immunity because that guarantees you to come back to the ranch, Shannon. I can't believe that you won. I can't believe it. <laughs> I know. I know, isn't it wonderful? I'm so excited. I cannot believe it. Um, I can't wait till you're back in this house and we can work together as a team together. I knew you could do it. I love you so much, Shannon. I love you too. Bye. Bye. It was so good to hear her voice. I knew it. I knew I could do it at home and I knew she could do it there. And now look, she's winning football challenges. You know, I just want to say I don't ever want to go back to the way I used to live. Holy cow. <laughs> My mom won immunity. You know, I'm starting to find like self-esteem all over again and, and it feels really good. I would never turn back. Hi, Bob. How are you? What are you having for breakfast? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Again? Yeah. Mm hmm We're, Oh, hey, Felipe. What's up? What are you doing? Trying to find something good to eat. What did you guys have for breakfast before you came here? Bacon, eggs, sausage. Sometimes nothing. Yeah. Skip it completely. Right. There should be a box of Fiber One Original Cereal in there. Okay. You're going to have that for breakfast this morning. OK. And you know what? Get rid of that oatmeal, and we're going to have this cereal, OK? These contestants are still learning about what to eat. So I've got to show them plenty of options. Half a cup of this Fiber One Original cereal has 14 grams of fiber. That's half the daily recommended allowance for your fiber, and only 60 calories. Half a cup. Add in your milk, it's going to be 100 calories. You've got to be counting every single calorie. That's why I've been saying, as hard as you've been working out in the gym, you need to be working out this hard in the kitchen. i got to watch my calories. That's what I've learned since being here is, the importance of just counting the calories and not throwing stuff in your mouth. I really think this Fiber One cereal is going to be a great way to start your day. OK, so you like your cereal? I love it. Oh, it's really good. It's awesome. All right, let's go to the gym. Hello. What's up, hey, guys? Buddy. You're a pop up once again. Hey, what's up, guys? I love it. It's good, man. Boy or girl? Baby boy. Oh! It was nice. They really, I think, kind of missed me, and that, that made me feel good. Look how cute that is. <laughs> the biggest loser shirt there. So, 
Anyways. What a cutie patootie. You ready to work out? I am ready to work out. Yeah. I definitely am. It's been a long time. I'm going to go get my crap on right Love now. Him. Being away from the ranch for three days. Great experience going home, but uh, definitely three days away is going to gonna be tough. I'm definitely more worried about this way in than I have been about any others. Congratulations, though, man. Thanks, guys. Next on The Biggest Loser, the clock runs out in a weigh-in with more than a few surprises. <laughs> and in the elimination room, tensions go into overtime. I don't understand how you don't get it. In the first hour of The Biggest Loser, Helen's win at the challenge guarantees her daughter's return to the ranch. I won the challenge. I knew you could do it. And Joelle proved to Bob she's serious about bringing Carla back. Perfect. Delivery. Perfect job. Coming up, the contestants weigh in to see whose partner will be returning to campus. And you'll be shocked to hear what Allie has in store for them. Don't take my word for it. Take theirs. Push! Yes, that's what I want. Do it again. Push him! Go! Go, 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 go! Eight. Good. One more way in to bring Sione back in this house where he belongs. Here's the last chance workout. It all boils down to this. Last chance workout. I've watched all these contestants really fight to bring their family members, their friends, their loved ones back on campus. And to get this close and not pull it off would be so upsetting. I would like for everyone to be walking from a 3.5 to a 4.0 on a 5 incline. All they're going to think about are their at-home people and bringing them back. That is what's going to fuel each and every one of my teammates through this last chance workout. Put that teammate's face right there. This is the last chance that I have to bring Shona back. You know, he's at home. Working hard, I just gotta do all I can do to bring him back. One more way in to bring Sione back in this house where he belongs. Five more. Last chance workout, Joel. Bringing Carla back up in this house. I gotta go into this last chance and pull something out of my hat so it'll show up on the scale. Carla's coming back. Two more. Carla is coming back. Yes, sir. No excuse. Work. That's right. This is like the most important last chance workout because this is my last chance to do everything I possibly can to bring my mom back. During last chance workout, all I could think about was Shannon and her beautiful blue eyes just looking at me and smiling going, thanks for bringing me back to the ranch, mom. Five, four, uh, three more. One more, bring it. Down, uh, up, good. Yeah, one more, come on, all you, come on. Good, Tara. Again, three times. Last chance. Three, clap. One more, go, go, go. Up. You have five minutes to jog on this treadmill. I do nothing but think about what I really want. Dan is a great kid, but he doesn't push himself. He doesn't get out of his comfort zone. He talks a really big game, but doesn't follow through. <laughs> no, get on. Get on. Get on, Dan. Get on. Get on, Dan. You ran for one minute. What's happening? I don't know. What's happening? <laughs> All the things start popping up in my head, like I'm 400 pounds, I could break my knee, my ankle could go out. All these stupid excuses are popping up and make me want to run away from it. <laughs> yes, you can! Let's be honest. Dan is big. Dan is not even five foot eight and he's 406 pounds. He's worked out for six hours in a day. Trust me, he can jog for five minutes. Run on the treadmill! I'm not gonna say it again! Now you have to run for five minutes again. Don't. Dan, get up. Get up. Get up. If I can just get him to have this one achievement, we can nurture that and foster that and build on it. 
What? I don't know. What? Never thought it was possible. What was possible? To not be fat. Why? Because I've never known anything different. Why? I look in the mirror and I try to see that, that this can happen. How can it not? Because it hasn't yet. No, keep running. This is hard. I know what it's hard. I know it's hard. This is really hard. I can barely breathe. I know that. I know that. But you are breathing. I know. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Right. And I know it's hard. I'm a But you can do it. Listen to me. You have the strength to get through this dance. Yes, I do. Stay with it now. You're on the oh. tail end. Stay, stay, stay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ten yeah, seconds. Got it. Nine, eight, seven, ah! almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, Dan. And he achieved it. And I'm hoping that he'll have some realization that all of his fear and the self-image that he's created for himself is not true. Weigh-in feels like the Super Bowl of all weigh-ins. Everything is riding on this weigh-in because I have given everything I possibly could to make sure my mom gets her spot here back at the Biggest Loser Ranch. This is the make it or break it week. It was the last opportunity we had to bring our partners back. And this whole, you know, month has been nerves and stress and pushing yourself to your ultimate limits. I wanted to know for sure that Aubrey was going to be with me here to stay. This is it. This is the night that you all have been waiting for. Seven of you arrived on campus with a partner. And 30 days ago, you had to make the toughest decision. Everything rested on your shoulders. As long as you stayed in this game, your partner had a chance of returning to campus. But if you were eliminated, so were they. Now you are one way in from bringing them back. The entire game comes down to this moment. Joelle, you definitely had a tough way in last week. You fell below the yellow line, certainly got a second chance. What have you done this week to make this week different? I kept my light blazing all week long. Bob, is that the same thing you saw? Definitely. It was a whole new Joelle this week. I think the whole team saw it. And uh, I really think Joelle felt it. Joelle worked harder than she ever had before that I've ever seen her. I'm glad I'm finally here getting this feeling with my team, feeling united with the team. And I'm glad I'm finally here. Helen? You have a little less to worry about tonight. You won immunity at this week's challenge. 30 days ago, when we made the decision to send Shannon home, I was always standing on the edge, thinking, will I be strong enough, you know, to bring her back? And this week, it just proved that I was. I'm sure your partner, and for that matter, all of your partners, are extremely anxious to find out how well you have done. But don't take my word for it. Take theirs. Ah! I'm sure all of your partners are extremely anxious to find out how well you have done. But don't take my word for it. Take theirs.
my God, I've never gone this long without seeing my mom. Never. And as soon as she walked around that corner, this flood of emotion it just ran over me. It was like chaos. Everybody's hugging everybody. Everybody was so happy to see each other. It was like a moment of pure joy. Welcome back, everybody. I'm sure you're all anxious to have a reunion and get a chance to talk with each other. And I know everyone is anxious to see how you did while you were at home. How you did at home will definitely determine your future in this competition. And there will be a weigh-in tomorrow. Because first, we have to find out how your partners did on the scale. That will determine who stays in this game and who is going home. I'm like freaking out because if she doesn't do well, then I'm not gonna come back tonight and I might go home. Tonight, the black team and the brown team will weigh in as a couple and it will be their combined percentage of weight loss that will determine whether their team falls below the yellow line. All the contestants who have been competing here on campus will weigh in as individuals and it will be your percentage of weight loss that will determine whether your team stays above the yellow line or falls below the yellow line and is in danger of elimination. Two teams will fall below the yellow line tonight and the rest of you will have to vote to eliminate one team. Helen, you won immunity at the challenge this week. We're gonna weigh you in first. When my mom walked up to the scale, I'm like, she looks awesome. She looks like she's lost weight. Did she lose weight this week? Helen, your previous weight was 231 pounds. Your current weight is. Helen, your current weight is 225 pounds. You lost yeah. six pounds this week. And you have Shannon back on campus. <laughs> Going in there, I was really kind of unsure of where I would stand on that scale. And um, I lost six pounds. It was exciting. But since the pink team has immunity, the real weigh-in begins now. Brown team, Mike, Ron, we're going to start with you. I've grown very attached to Ron, and him not being here would be very, very hard on me. They're the first ones to weigh in, and all I could think about was, oh, just hope it's, hope it's enough. Okay, well, Ron, your previous weight was 377 pounds. Mike, your previous weight was 348 pounds. Your current weight is. I saw the 16 pounds. I felt like I failed my dad, I failed my team, I failed myself, and there was nothing else. Just, I failed. Ron, your current weight is 370. You lost seven pounds this week. Mike, your current weight is 339. You lost nine pounds this week. Let's find out how it measures up to everyone else. Thank you, gentlemen. Good job, guys. You know, maybe I could have done more. Maybe I should have done something different and as a dad I can't help but think I failed and in some part I failed him I should have done more Brown team you lost 16 pounds this week for total percentage of weight loss of 2.21 percent black team you're up I cannot remember another week in my life that has been so busy and so insane as this one and me and Dane don't feel as confident as we have been in other ways. Dane, your previous weight was 360 pounds. Blaine, your previous weight was 323 pounds. Your current weight is. I saw Dan's number, I, he's a machine. I mean, it's incredible. It's great to be his partner. 
Dane, your current weight is 345 pounds. You lost 15 pounds this week. Blaine, you lost 11 pounds, including the three days you spent with your family. I was worried. Um, I'm relieved. Because that's at home, it's half of us uh, know. It's, it's a lot harder at home than it is here. Good job, gentlemen. Black team, you have lost 120 pounds in four weeks. You lost 26 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.81%. Felipe, it's your turn to get on the scale. This is the week that decides whether I can bring back my partner, Sione, or not. And so, getting on that scale, my heart's pounding. And so I'm just hoping that I at least pull a big enough number to stay above the yellow line just so I can bring it back. Felipe, your previous weight was 324 pounds. In order to guarantee Sione one week back on campus, you need to have lost more than 12 pounds. Pounds. Your current weight is. By now, a lot of you may have given up on your resolutions, probably because you're pressured to make big changes. Instead, try focusing on small, manageable steps like addressing needless snacking in the afternoon. When the clock strikes three and you're tempted to try something sweet that you know you shouldn't, chew on a stick of long-lasting extra sugar for gum because research shows that chewing gum can help reduce cravings and control your appetite for sweets. Personally, I like the peppermint flavor. 12 pounds. Your current weight is. times at night where I, I didn't even want to come work out but I got on that bike and I spin spin and got on that treadmill when I didn't want to get on it lost 13 pounds I did it Bob he did it Sione is back in this house where Sione belongs life is good the blue team's here Felipe you lost 13 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 4.01 the blue team is back, baby. Black, watch your back. Green, watch your teeth. The blue is back, man. With two teams below you, blue team, you are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Good to be back. Tara? Let's just get the <laughs> over. I, I need to know. I need to know. So let's find out. As I'm walking up to the scale, I just can't help but think that I hope my hard work paid off. And I'm ready because I hate the anxiety of just waiting. Tara, your previous weight was 264 pounds. In order to guarantee that Laura comes back to campus, you need to have lost more than 10 pounds. Your current weight is. just really try to do everything you possibly, possibly can. And I did, just had to, I had to. Well, Tara, we're definitely gonna keep you here for at least one more week, congratulations. Thank you. I couldn't believe that I lost 12 pounds this week. You just feel so good, like, I'm doing it, you know, and I can do this, and I'm gonna keep on doing it, and I, I have the strength and the tenacity and the endurance to, to pull these numbers and to stay in these games with these guys who are losing 15 pounds. I'm doing it. Tara, you lost 12 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss, 4.55%. Yeah. 
You take over first place from the blue team. Congratulations. Laura, welcome back to campus. Thank you, thank you. So Kristen, in order to guarantee the purple team's safety for one more week, you need to have lost more than 12 pounds. It's time for you to weigh in. I don't think I could even swallow at that point. It was like, my heart's beating and I'm watching Kristen walk out, but yet I'm checking her out like, wow, she really did lose a lot of weight, you know? Kristen, your previous weight was 324 pounds. You need to have lost more than 12 pounds to guarantee the purple team safety. Your current weight is. 12 pounds this week. Your current weight is 312 pounds. Wow. Well, Kristen, you needed to have lost more than 12 pounds to guarantee the purple team's safety. But we have three people left to weigh in. It's not over yet. Thank you. I'm glad it's a double digit. I think it's a great, great number. But when I step off of that scale, I'm devastated. I'm so conflicted. Kristen, you lost 12 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.7%. It's not enough to bring your mom back right now, but we have three teams left to weigh in, so we'll have to wait and see. Mandy, in order to guarantee Aubrey's safety, you need to have lost more than eight pounds. Aubrey, how are you feeling seeing Mandy tonight? She gives so much more to everybody, and that's why I knew she would consider me more than herself, and she'd work 20 times harder to make sure that I got back here, and here I am, and we're not going anywhere. Are you ready to get on the scale and see what happened? Yeah. Mandy, your previous weight was 237 pounds. In order to guarantee the yellow team, one more week in this game to make sure Aubrey makes it back on campus. You need to have lost more than eight pounds. Your current weight is. In order to guarantee the yellow team one more week in this game, you need to have lost more than eight pounds. Your current weight is. Yeah! <laughs> My sister came running up and it was like the best hug ever because I knew that she was here to stay and it was awesome. Mandy, your current weight is 227 pounds. Still good? Yeah, it feels amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Mandy, you lost 10 pounds tonight for a total percentage of weight loss. 4.22%. Not only have you guaranteed Aubrey one week on campus, but you have now taken second place in this week's weigh-in so far. Mike and Ron, Kristen and Kathy, you are still in danger of elimination. Mandy gets up on the scale and loses 10 pounds and, you know, puts me just closer to that yellow line. I am on an emotional roller coaster and I'm in jeopardy of, of going home after everything that I've done. We have two teams left to weigh in. Dan, in order to get David back on campus, you need to have lost more than 15 pounds. Ooh. How you think you did this week? Jill decided it was my turn to die this week, so uh, I think I can do it again. Let's find out how you did. Let's do it. Dan, he's, uh, he's got to lose over 15 pounds, which, you know, at his weight is doable because he's the biggest ever on the show, he's the biggest guy ever on the show. Dan, your previous weight was 406 pounds. Dan, your current weight is. Out 
at a 400 pound club, buddy. Yeah. What did you weigh when we started? 393. You almost oh. got me. Oh. What happened? 12 pounds. This is a huge week. Unfortunately, not enough to guarantee the orange team's safety here tonight. We're both not completely ready to leave this place yet, so I'm just hoping it keeps us here another week. Let's find out. We have one team left to weigh in. Thanks, Tim. Good job. I knew 12 pounds wasn't enough to keep me here for sure. At that point, and then I'd lost 60 pounds since I've been here. And it also means I'm below 400. It's a huge milestone. I mean, it's just, it's awesome. So, although I was really depressed because I knew it wasn't for sure we'd be here, I was still really excited because I, I, I knew that I'd come so far. Dan, you lost 12 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.96%. Brown team, you are definitely below the yellow line. With only one team left to weigh in, you are going to be facing elimination tonight. But Kristen, with two teams below you, you are definitely safe from elimination, which means Kathy, congratulations and welcome back to campus. It's a bittersweet moment when that person who happened to be Dan this week, steps up on the scale and secures your spot here on the ranch. I am all over the place. I feel like, I don't know. Now, we have to find out if it will be the silver team, Joelle and Carla, who will be with you below the yellow line, or Dan and David. Joelle, comes down to you. In order to bring Carla back to campus, keep Silver Team here for one more week. You need to have lost more than eight pounds. It is your turn to get on that scale. When I was walking up those stairs, I knew I was at a defining moment. There was gonna be some significant change one way or the other. I was praying, let this please be the time that there's something good for the Silver Team in that scale. Joelle, your previous weight was 288 pounds. Your current weight is. In order to bring Carla back, guarantee Silver Team safety tonight, you need to have lost more than eight pounds. Joelle, your previous weight was 288 pounds. Your current weight is. team is safe Back in from elimination tonight. You have guaranteed <laughs> your team one more week here on campus. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Tell me about this moment for you, Joelle. Every opportunity is possible. Every hurdle you can climb over. And it's good to have a light on. Thank you all for giving me an opportunity to try again. Now that I'm back in this game, it is on. So they better watch out. I am not going to be putting up no single digits. It's going to be double digits from this day forward. I, I'm just going to tell them right now, they better watch out. Joelle, you lost 10 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.47%. Yeah, not a two. <laughs> the silver team is above the yellow line. You are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Dan, David, I'm sorry that I do not have good news for you. You are below the yellow line and will be up for elimination with the Brown team. It is up to everyone else to determine who will be going home. Those of you coming back to campus, this is a difficult decision. You will be deciding between father and son best friends. You have one hour to make your decision, but first it is time to say goodnight to Bob and Jillian.
на голове. With each of these eliminations, because you are friends, because you do care about each other. Good luck on a very difficult decision. I will see you in one hour. You know, as a dad, I just feel like I failed my son. You know, you're here to protect, you're here to help, and, um, I should have done better. I should have done better. I mean, I want to be here. I need to be here. My son needs to be here. I don't want to go, but you guys vote with your heart. But I want to stay, and my son needs to stay. It's my job to protect him, and I didn't do it very well this week. And I'm sorry. It's, it's both our fault. And my dad is completely just torn up. I've only seen him cry like twice. And uh I know he's um uh, he's blaming himself for this week. All I can ask is that you don't vote my son off this place. You can kick me to the curb but keep him in. Keep him. Brass tax. Ron and Mike and Dave and I all deserve to be here. You know, we all need to be here. And this is hard, because Ron and Mike were instrumental in keeping me here two weeks ago. I've had a chance to change a lot of things in the past couple weeks. All I can ask is that each one of you, you know, votes according to the way you feel and what you think is right. I don't want people to stop watching my story. I want to be here on the show. You know, I, I love this place. I love this environment. I love training with Jillian. I love hanging out with the people here. I love everything about it. Um, it's, it's very hard for me to be here. Um, it can be done from home. I mean, it, it can be. You know, I experienced that this, this month. I didn't do as good as I wanted to while I was at home, but I, I lost weight. I, I found out that it can be done. But whatever, whatever happens, whoever goes home, it can be done either way. If we went home tonight, I would be okay with it myself. But at the same time, it would break my heart for Daniel to leave. Save my son. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated players look today. The biggest loser club, it's changing lives. you had a very difficult decision to make. Tonight, you had to vote for either the orange team, Dan and David, or the brown team, Mike and Ron. I know this wasn't easy for you, but it is time to hear your votes. We're gonna start with the pink team. This is a very, very difficult decision. This week, I've seen you just working so hard, and Michael pushing so hard, but I had to make this decision, and I voted for David and Daniel. Mandy. I've connected so much with both of these teams and it's so hard to make a decision. On that note, I voted for Mike Knopf. Thank you, Yellow Team. Mike, Ron, that's one vote for you. Dave and Dan, you have one vote. Kristen. The last 30 days, not having my mom here has been very difficult. And 
I've grown very, very close to Mike and Ron. They have been there for me. They have been by my side. And seeing Ron plead for his son to stay, there's no way I could have voted any differently. No way at all. Which is why I've decided to vote to send Dan and Dave home. The purple team casts the second vote for the orange team. Two votes. And the brown team has one vote. Dane, Blaine, let's hear from you. It was an incredibly hard decision. But this last month, you know, working side by side with, with Dan, he's just an amazing kid. And uh, I know he needs to be here, but at the same time, he pushes me and I need him to be here too. We need him here. And so we have voted for Mike and Ron. That's two votes for Mike and Ron, and two votes for Dan and Dave. Tara? I'm really bothered right now. Extremely, really pissed off. I'm pissed at you, Dave. Once they finally told me that you said that you didn't really want to be here, do you realize 250,000 people tried out for this? And this kid right here has been working his ass off for you. And you need to be here more than you know. I want you to be here. I know that Julian can help you just as she's helped him, just as she's helped me and Blaine and Mandy, and you need it. Mike and Ron, you guys know that you have each other right now, and you guys know that you've changed. This kid doesn't get it. I don't understand how you don't get it. But I'm going to make you get it. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry, Ron. That's why I voted for you. You gotta realize, this is like amazing. But I don't understand why you don't get it. The truth is, my commitment is here. My heart is not. And being here on the ranch, it, it's the best opportunity of your life, but you're trapped. You're trapped in, and that, that's hard for me. Ron, Mike, that's three votes for you. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. It's time to hear from the Silver Team. We are voting as a team. The Silver Team has decided to vote for Dan and Dave. Silver Team's decision ties it up. That's three votes for the Orange Team and three votes for the Brown Team. This final vote will be the deciding vote. Lee Bay. I didn't base this decision off support system because eventually all of us are gonna go home one day. And whatever situation we're in, we're just gonna have to adapt. And Dave, you know, I understand, you know, you feel trapped sometimes. But I have two kids and a wife at home. I think about it every morning and night. I feel trapped. I'm trapped. You know what it's like to wake up in the morning, not have your wife by you, not have your kids to play with. That's trapped. I do it so I can live longer with my wife here on Earth. I'm sorry. The blue team votes for the orange team to go home. Dan, Dave, with four votes, sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. You have been eliminated, and it's time for you to go. I will. You too. All right, guys. Love y'all. We've been praying for all of you. Oh, yeah. When I arrived here on campus, I was the heaviest person in Biggest Loser history, and I weighed in at 454 pounds. When I arrived here at the ranch, I weighed 393 pounds. I'm most proud of three things here on the ranch that this sent out to me. Number one is losing 60 pounds in four weeks. Two, I've hiked my 400-some pound body up the mountains behind this ranch probably 50 times in the past couple weeks, and it's awesome. Third, I've run over seven miles an hour on a treadmill when I was over 400 pounds. The person that arrived here at the ranch that first day is completely different. I know now that I can lose the weight, that I can do this at home, that I can take care of this weight problem that I have, and I can, I can do it either here or at home. 
in the past, I always tried to lose weight for other people and because other people wanted it for me. Now, I want it because I need it and because I want it, and I know it's possible. America, the next time you see me, I'm going to be thin for the first time in my life, and the biggest loser is going to hand me the $100,000 check for the second grand prize. America, next time you see me, I'm going to be skinny, buff, and vying for that $100,000 prize. <laughs>your lab work, and I want you to stop taking that oral diabetes medication. The best news that Martha was able to give me is that I get to go off my diabetes medicine, which is really awesome, because I hate taking pills. I'm so excited oh, for you. you. I'm totally ready to experience life not being the fat kid. What I would say to kids that are overweight is to get up and try, because you can.